We have this very interesting problem today, which requires a few mathematical tricks to solve correctly. So we've got the equation x to the y equals to y to the x, and we want to find a parametric solution for x and y. So the first step to doing that is to suppose that y equals to kx, where k is a constant and k is not equal to 1, which as we shall see later on is actually quite important. Now plugging this form of y into the equation we get x to the kx equals to kx whole to the power of x. And what we want to do here is to rewrite x only in terms of k. So we can write this equation as x to the k whole to the power of x which is equal to kx whole to the power of x. And then taking the power 1 over x on both sides we get x to the k equals to kx and then moving the x to the left we get x to the k minus 1 equals to k. Then, taking 1 over k minus 1 as a power on both sides, we get x equals to k to the power of 1 over k minus 1. Now, we want to get y in terms of k as well, and since y equals to kx, plugging the x, we get y equals to k to the power of 1 plus 1 over k minus 1. And tidying up the power, we get y equals to k to the power of k over k minus 1. Please comment below if you've got a different way of solving this one. Now, let's just quickly check that this is indeed the correct solution by setting k equals to 3. So we get x equals to 3 to the power of a half, and y equals to 3 to the power of 3 over 2. So plugging these two into the question, we get same on both the left hand side and the right hand side which serves as a nice verification. If you enjoyed this problem then please also check out this video on another very interesting exponent problem. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.